sometimes we're stuck in our own emotions, but understanding we have social influence with other people says, you know what? It's okay if right now I choose to be strong, even though I feel weak because these folks need to see me being strong. And you can be honest and let them know, hey, I'm feeling weak, but I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this action. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to move through this. So it's not about being fake. It's not about faking it till you make it. It's about recognizing that your energy impacts other people. The role model mindset says, I know people are watching how I deal with this. So I'm not going to just do it, you know, to get the, like, I, I, I'm aware that I'm a person of influence with others, even if that means they're my peers or my friends, I was aware that our behaviors and energy impact other people. And I took responsibility for that. And that was a game changing moment. It's like, uh, and some of you who went during the pandemic, if you were in my audience at that time, uh, and I mean, my community, right, our, our global audience, social media, or wherever, if you go back and you watch my, uh, I did a, a whole series for our coaching clients at the time in the first months of the pandemic. And uh, some of those you can go back and look on YouTube as well. I think we released a few of them for free. And it was about how to deal with crises. The central teaching back then was, hey, be a role model through this time of uncertainty. Your kids are watching how you deal with this pandemic. Your kids are watching how you're dealing with this uncertainty. And if you don't have children, your friends are, your spouse is, someone is observing how you're dealing with the difficulties of life and you have a chance to inspire them. And as soon as you realize that with, when you're with other people, you have an opportunity to inspire them. To me, that is the role model mindset. I'm going to take it upon myself to be a role model in other people's lives. Not because they gave me permission to do it, not because they expect it, not because I'm an expert, not because I have ego, but because I've read enough books that say, you know what? Somebody changed my life. All those self-help books, it's always the same thing. All the great biographies. You cannot read a great biography without a person saying, this person inspired me to be better. And that person is never you know, necessarily the person they sought out. It might be a grandma. It might be a teacher, one of the teachers at school. It might be a neighbor, but somebody was a role model to them. And role model is not a comma after your name. It's not a designation that you get by some school or your university. It's not a certification. It's a decision and an intention that you're going to be a force of positivity and good influence in this world. You just decide it. It's one of the Great things about my career. I never waited for anyone to say, Brandon, you can teach people stuff. You're now qualified to share insights about life. What I did instead was say, I'm going to be a role model. I'm going to help people deal with these situations by sharing what I've learned. And what I learned originally was from books. Then it became from coaching. Then it became from training. Then it became from our own pioneering research. Then it became from just having, you know, a global community of coaches who are doing the work and getting feedback. And so for me, I, didn't, I wasn't, never thought, you don't have to be the smartest person in the room to be a role model. You have to be kind, compassionate, understanding, sharing your truth, letting other people see you strive and work and re try to reach your potential. Soon as you step into the role model mindset, you free yourself from so many nonsensical concerns. As soon as you step into the role model mindset, you free yourself from so many nonsensical concerns. Because you're like, you know what? If I was being a role model, I wouldn't freak out about that. I'd keep perspective. If I was being a role model, I wouldn't freak out about this thing. I'd handle it well. See, sometimes we're stuck in our own emotions. But understanding we have social influence with other people says, you know what? It's okay if right now I choose to be strong, even though I feel weak because these folks need to see me being strong. And you can be honest and let them know, hey, I'm feeling weak, but I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this action. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to move through this. 
So it's not about being fake. It's not about faking it till you make it. It's about recognizing that your energy impacts other people. You know, another throwback to Oprah, she said one of the defining shows she ever had was when a woman was on her show sharing the story of when she had walked back at this, I think it was a newsroom. And in the back, there was a sign that said, please be responsible for the energy you bring into this space. Please be responsible for the energy you bring into this space. That's that social awareness that is the role model. Like, oh, you know what? I don't want to be a grumpy jerk. I need to get a hold of my own emotions because I realize that I influence other people. And once we can do that, we can see outside of ourselves. Now you get to think big picture too. For those who are entrepreneurs, if you are a role model to other CEOs in the world, what would your actions be this week? If you were to become a role model to the other CEOs in this world, what would your actions be this week? I ask my sports stars who I coach all the time. Okay, when you win that Olympic gold, how are you going to be a role model to the kids? To the youngsters trying to be you. Immediately getting people to think about that. Even before we're at the Olympics, even before we're on the championship field, I'm asking them, okay, tell me about how you're gonna be a role model to others. Because it inspires the best in you. And it places you in a social context to see beyond yourself. Because many people will do more for others than they will do for themselves. And when you tap into that, you realize that your actions right now are role modeling something. It becomes very powerful. Hey, it's Brendan. Thanks for watching this video. Please enjoy all the other videos on my channel. And listen, if you would love to have a daily exclusive life coaching audio for me, make sure you go get signed up for Growth Day. If you didn't know, Growth Day is the world's number one personal growth app. And it's the app where you go and you get your mindset right, you set your goals, you track your habits, you take wellness challenges, and you overall improve your life so you can become more successful and joyous and happy. It's called Growth Day. It's an app. You can download it on your phone anywhere or just go to growthday.com and make sure you get it because every day I leave that exclusive life coaching audio to help you level up and advance your life. Go to growthday.com and get signed up right now.